It's Monday night. We're here at Jackson's Acoma, and we're going to just do one last little run through with, with the team, with the training partners and the coaches to make sure that everything's on point. I'm feeling like a million bucks. You know, tonight's not about prepping our, our crazy fight week schedule. Uh, tonight is solely about Saturday night, March 4th, the game plan, the strategy, clear with the training partners, clear with the coaches what the priorities are, and you know, throw out anything that we don't need for the game plan and strategy and make sure we really highlight and star some of those key moves that we want to go over. You know what I mean? Philippians 4.13. I actually went through my whole training camp without a mouthpiece, and people think I'm absolutely crazy for doing that. I just try not to get hit in the face. You know what I'm saying? I try to be quick um, and have really strong defense. Um, I try to be slick with head movement and timing, and I try not to get caught too clean. Oh, yeah? What time it is, churches? Damn, hit churches on you, boy. You can't study, you can't study when you're hungry. Yeah. You're not yourself when you're hungry. True. Yeah. But how you gonna, uh, how you gonna <laughs> come through with the churches and not be like, hey, Mo, you know I like chicken? You oh, not yourself right? when you're hungry. <laughs> I should be indulging, living that true heavyweight life. It'd be nice. I only know one way. A little bit of sacrifice. I'm really excited. David Goggins is gonna be hanging out with me all fight week. He's like, John, you know, you gotta you gotta put on your mental Kevlar, son. You know, I gotta make sure you're ready to go. You gotta be willing to die for this. I'm like, yeah, tell me more. Tell me more. Yes, sir. Well, yeah, thank you. I gotta, I gotta give my boy Romo a shout out. Romo is one of <laughs> one of my most committed teammates. Romo and Maurice, they're, they're the first two guys, when I decided to start my own program, they're the first two workout partners I had. And um, Romo has been there. He has been there, he's been committed, he's been a hell of a training partner. And um, I'm just, just super blessed to have quality men in my life. For, for many years, I had bad friends for many years, and, it, and my life was a reflection of the men that I was around. And today I'm getting a little emotional. Today I'm, I'm just really grateful to, to be living in a different space. And, have some quality friends. Right, so yeah. Thanks for being one of those guys. Of Always, you got me. My guy. We want to keep him in the high intensity fight, but because we are very close to the, the fight and I don't want him to get hurt. What we're doing is to go to the heavy bag and then punch with the high power that he can throw to punch, which is speed plus the strength, and give him the maximum that he can give five rounds of five minutes, and then uh, we're done. It was a good training, and now we're gonna recover a little bit with the high bath. The, the process are really family like. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm in a competition, high level competition, but the feeling is we're all in the same house. We take a time, take a rest, play PlayStation, video games. We train a lot. The feeling is so great. So great, so great. So I hope Saturday we're going to do well. After Valentina's title defense in Singapore, Richie and me were hanging out backstage, and he looked at me and said, hey dude, let's get some tattoos. With Coach Pavel's consent and blessing, we ended up going right after the fight. So I ran a buyer and she looked at it and like made adjustments and made sure I got the exact lock. I sent her a picture of it as I was getting the tattoo and she was like, perfect, we love it. So yeah, it was cool. She, she approved of it. Kicks and punch, everything, go. It was an honor to be in her corner for that fight because it was her seventh title defense. She broke the record for the most title defenses in the women's division. It was uh, such a historic moment for everyone on the team, but especially her, because I know how much hard work she put into that fight and everything in the lead up, it all just came together. Sprawl. Sprawl. On the ground, apparently. Face shot guy, I feel like he's like a, just like Hamza, you know what I mean? He has like a lot of hype and, uh, you know what I mean? I beat this dude, uh, I, don't, I don't talk much and you know, I don't do all this Instagram chirping, you know, and I, I, get, I get overlooked, man. If you, if you look at all my wins, man, I've been dominating dudes, finishing dudes, like finishing people that aren't supposed to be finished, you know, and that's, that's just what I do. Ty, you got 30 more seconds, finish it up. 
I'm not, I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to talk. Shit. I'm just going to go out there and do exactly what I've been doing for the past 13 years, and that's uh, knocking people out. And Saturday, I plan on keeping the trend going. Two. Time. Great round. So yeah, Most of it's Ian, though. I think he's like a little Ian clone. He's blonde hair. He's got yeah. dark eyes like his mommy, and he's got the, he's got the same smile as your mommy, haven't you? <sighs> hey, look, show me a big smile. Look, show me a big smile. <laughs> show me. You can show me. going to be your right hand right here. Oh, it's like yeah, special. Yeah, 30th anniversary ones now, so we're doing this for the whole year. I like it. 30 UFC and the, like, uh, this part, it looks amazing. Kind of like everything so special, <laughs> very special. And then I need you to walk with me. I'm with Consumer Products with the UFC. Really excited to show you this. This is the UFC and Venom Fight Night 2.0 Midnight Edition. Oh, oh my God. So this is five. Oh, it's for the fight. Correct. Yes, this is the limited edition midnight blue jerseys and hoodies. I love it. Beautiful colors. It looks so nice. Look. Love it. <laughs> Amazing. I'm feeling great. You know, I like to come to Vegas to fight. It was a nice flight, a quick flight, and we're ready. We're excited. Uh, I'm super excited for this fight. I'm, I'm glad I had the opportunity to perform this Saturday. And it's a big opportunity for me and for all my team. This pay-per-view is super important. I'm the co-main event, first time for a title shot. And I trained really hard for this. Shortly after takeoff, we'll be serving How are you, ladies? Good. 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 Cage fighter. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna oh be. Big old hands. Uh -huh. mm. Yes. Fighting now? Yes, yes. I'm gonna be fighting at the uh, T-Mobile Arena um, this Saturday for the heavyweight championship of the world. Oh, good luck, good luck, good luck. Thank you, guys. Good luck. Thank you, thank you. So you live here? Yes, ma'am. Mexico? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Yeah. Where, where are you from? In Mexico, we just do a vacation. Nice. Yeah, Where are you guys from originally? Korea. Korea. Nice. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you, ladies. It feels great, man. It's, it's surreal, man. We've, we've been looking forward to this moment for a really long time. And uh, now it's here. The wait is over. It's fight week, baby. Catching flies in my mouth the whole time. Got a whole bunch of sleep. I think my body just kind of knew it needed more rest. Today is day one, fight week, and uh, let the mental warfare begin. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna head to my hotel room right now. I'm gonna get a nice haircut, and then I'm gonna get all checked in, check my weight, do some international media. Hey man, thank you guys. Good luck. I appreciate it. Yeah, I do. Appreciate the sport. It means everything. Thanks. You know I do. I'm on it. We are excited to finally be here, and I do feel this big burst of energy because this has been a long time coming, and uh, and now we're here. Our feet are on the ground in Vegas. We got this easy air. Thanks, man. Big respect. Good luck, man. I think this is going to be the best fight week we've ever had. The crew, the energy, no weight cut, and uh, and the biggest, most prestigious title on the line for us to go claim on Saturday. So I think it's going to be the best one we've ever had. We're here, y'all. Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> 